Yo, what up guys, me Patrick LeVar. Just chiming in, I'm not going to be able to post tomorrow, uh, which is Wednesday here in Japan, and possibly Saturday. My daughter is really feeling under the weather, so I gotta do uh, what's right and spend some time with her. So I won't be near the computer for the next uh, couple of days here. But uh, instantly, I really wanted to quickly jump in and um, give you guys something. So I was going through the comments and um, I figured, well, I'll just might as well just do a screen capture and uh, go ahead and answer some of you guys' questions while I, while she's sitting here watching Umi Zumi on Netflix <laughs> until it's time for bed. But anyways, uh, I want to give you guys a uh, big shout out. Thanks for all the support on the new uh, G6 Plus review that came out. Um, so far, it's pretty cool little gimbal there. But anyways, this is not about that. Let's just jump in here. We got, sorry, I probably won't be able to pronounce these names. And sorry, my voice is a little bit kind of crappy right now. I think I might be catching whatever she has. But anyways, looks like here, every shot is so cinematic. Uh, that was on the mobile filmmaking video number one. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, what is this here? In this moment, oh, shiny. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's very cool of you. Thank you. Let's see here. San Pedro. Nice. Coming in on the mobile filmmaking video. Guys, I get so many comments from that video. That video is absolutely the only reason why I'm on YouTube. Because I don't, that video has well over, I think, 1.3 million views or something. It's pretty crazy. And all of my rest of my videos are like a 1,000. <laughs> I guess I'm a one hit wonder, whatever. But uh, great, very informative. Thank you very much, Fun Made TV. Happy you guys enjoyed it. Comments no longer available. This is another one I looked at earlier today. Hello, can you please do a short clip on how to edit videos before uploading to YouTube channel for iPhone users? Uh, what possible apps could you recommend and edit? I'm a new vlogger. Um, I gave him the link to what apps I use. I'm an Android guy, so unfortunately I don't really know what's on the Mac side. But um, I will, um, actually I recently watched a video from Peter McCain on how he uploads video. It's like a video he probably posted like within the last two weeks. And my, I think my last four videos I've been posting like uh, in this, in the, in the, uh, the format that he's been talking about, which is basically you record your video either in HD or 4k, doesn't really matter. But when I import it into premiere, I put it, uh, basically for me, I basically film at HD. I, I hardly ever do 4k. I may occasionally do eight, uh, 2k for some of my product reviews so I can, uh, use that to frame the uh the product a little bit better but typically all my vlogs are are done in hd but then i put them on a 4k timeline scale them up and then export them out 4k and for some reason the and i get the natural black bars on the top which you see they're not fake those are just because of the, the format is bigger and it seems like the quality is a little bit better which is kind of weird but um i don't you i would advise you to check out his uh his uh, video to see how that goes. Uh, let's see here. Elizric Studios. Bro, where do you live in Japan? I live in Osaka, Japan. Hot and humid right now. Uh, GIO Customs. GIO Customs. Hi, how do I change the aspect ratio of my video? The widescreen cinematic style, I think. Well, I film in filmic pro so i can actually change that at that natively but if not typically we fake it we just add the black bars unless you use an app like filmic pro where you can truly record at a different aspect ratio so most of the time now um like i said re recently i've been recording at four uh, uh hd but putting it on a 4k timeline and um i get the natural black bars or sometimes i actually record in uh Filmic Pro in a native aspect ratio so that I have the black bars in there. But on this video that you saw here, the moment, uh, mobile filmmaking, I just added those bars in. That was just the fake aspect ratio. Uh, Nasir, Nasir, sorry if I mispronounced your name. Love the B-roll. Thank you very much. Let's give you a little bit of love here. Thank you. What else do we got here? JD's World. 
let's see what he watched the uh, g plus video great to see you on here uh, my absolute media idol thank you very much lol just keeping it up and i do have one question i do games as well as vlogs but times i get down any help would mean the world yeah um seriously guys i am I, i'm like that too and the times where i just don't feel like working on youtube stuff i don't unless i really have a, like a review and i have a deadline to meet but i try to keep it so i don't crunch myself up to the deadline but typically if i don't feel like working on videos i don't because then you're going to put out something that you don't like you're forcing it it's not fun anymore i've been having fun doing my youtube so i try to keep it fun i try to work on it when i i'm in the mood to work on it which is all the time but <laughs> there are days where i just don't feel it and like i won't work on it so you know it goes up and down and um it's kind of like one of those things where if, if it's a job that's why i don't really advise you know people who want to go youtube full-time it's like yeah this how do you how do you know youtube will be here forever so and then that puts a lot of pressure on you that means you gotta grind you gotta do it because this is your income that is your your work so i i'm not big on becoming a, a full full-time youtuber I, I i believe in having a solid job well i have a family so having a job this is a high this is a hobby and i keep it fun and that's pretty much all to it let's see here fun and info lmm does it does it work for does it work for cameras of course it does it works with small mirrorless cameras uh check out their website the links in the description it works with action cams it works with cell phone i had my canon eos m on it i've done several vlogs using the canon eos m i've done a couple of vlogs using my my uh, samsung galaxy s7 edge with the anamorphic lens on it the only thing i didn't do was uh something with my action cam my we muse action cam which i dropped it uh, about a month and a half ago and kind of scratched the lens so i haven't been using it so yes but it does all right i get a couple more here and i gotta go my daughter's already getting tired i can see it uh oh now as photos hey man i want free stuff too <laughs> guys if you have not checked out this guy's youtube page check it out this is my inspiration my motivation for night photography for that cyber look it's super fantastic so all right we're going to end on that note i'm going to catch you guys on the next one patrick lavar keep filming i'll see you guys soon bye